release is not only uh, creating this path to create new kinds of innovative integrated circuits, but because it's using an innovation process to do so, uh, we've converged also on a model that allows us, when we're ready, to commercialize uh, circuits uh, in a new kind of innovation model out in the business world. Uh, very briefly, today we have huge fabs that have become gigantic because they're making tiny, tiny little transistors that, and we have to ship huge amounts of wafers out of them. That world will never change because it's very mature. We have to use it, we have to access it. But the problem, anytime someone in research today comes up with a new device or a new material, the ability to kind of insert it into that manufacturing infrastructure, even if they show great promise in research, is very limited because it's a manufacturing environment. They're basically making sugar cookies and you're coming to them saying, I want to make chocolate chip cookies, but they don't want chocolate chips anywhere near their manufacturing facility, right? So the question is, how can you not only develop, but inject new technology and, and get, get it to the marketplace so volume can grow? It's a huge problem. Most people can't think be, of that process because of these huge sort of end of Moore's Law manufacturing plants. What we're doing in SMART is we take a wafer that is actually made in a real manufacturing facility and we take it and stop the process of manufacturing in the middle. Then we put all the responsibility on us to do R&D but it could be eventually real manufacturing in the same model where we add the new material, we add the devices, we take the design kit from the foundry, we add our new devices to that design kit, which is only changing it by 10% or so. And then that wafer goes back into the manufacturing facility and is finished the same way it was always finished. So in that sense, the only difference for the manufacturing facility is it's doing all the same steps. It's just that it's diverted in the middle and all the responsibility falls on our shoulders, both at the research stage, but also in the future commercial stage to not only add the new materials devices, but then modify the design kit so we could build product, new kinds of integrated circuits in the marketplace. This kind of model where you have essentially almost just a new wrapping around the old facility allows you to invest very small amount of money in the commercialization stage into this little wrapping that goes around a $5 billion investment. And yet you can now produce in smaller markets, new kinds of ICs without having to build a $5 billion plant for every market that you have to speculate is going to be huge, right? So it kind of accommodates this problem of how do I come up with an innovative short loop that a startup company could do trying to find new kinds of integrated circuit uh, markets, and yet it, 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 it takes an impedance mismatch with this gigantic manufacturing fab removes it, gives it a financial model so it can grow. And that's the way we see future commercialization, a version of smart lease that becomes a company, right, can be a vibrant new integrated circuit company uh, just like when Intel started.